Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the series of the function. Today I will explain you how you can think about the Cauchy criteria for the uniform convergence. Myself, Dr. Harish Kirk. You can follow my YouTube channel where there is a playlist of the real analysis. In this playlist, you can see the various lecture on the sequences of the functions and its corresponding CSNet examinations paper. Also, the last lecture was on the pointwise convergence of the series of function. All you can find at my playlist, real analysis. Now, you can subscribe my YouTube channel so that when I upload in my new video, you can you will get the notification in advance. If you have the infinite series u n, which I define on the subset of the real line, then you can define the nth partial sum sequence f n, which is defined as u one x plus u two x plus u n x. Then you can say the series u n is converges pointwise. And uniformly to the function f x, if if f n that is the sequence of the partial sum converges to the f pointwise, and similarly for the uniform convergence. And what is the f? F is nothing but my limit and approaches infinity f n x. This is the function of the. This. Now, if you prove how you can prove the sequence, because f n is my sequence. How you can prove the sequence converges pointwise? How you can prove that sequence converges uniformly? You can watch about my these lectures of the uniform convergence and the pointwise convergence definitions. Now, as we have already discussed, what is the Cauchy criteria for the sequences of the function, which you can see at this channel? Now, we will discuss in this lecture how you can define the Cauchy criteria for the series of the functions. So firstly, let me quickly recall what is the definition of the sequences of the function. If you have the sequence of the function f n defined on the subset of the R, where A is the subset of the R, then it converges uniformly to the function if and only if, for a given epsilon greater than zero, we can find a positive integer m such that f n plus p minus f n should be less than epsilon. Now. We can do the same definition, similar kind of the definition for the sequences of the, or sorry, series of the function. I hope you can like and comment on this video to support my efforts. Now, what is the statement of the Cauchy criteria for uniform convergence? A series summation of the U n defined on the subset of the R is said to be converges uniformly if, for a given epsilon greater than zero, we can find a positive integer m such that. U n plus one, U n plus two, plus up to the U n plus p is less than epsilon. For all n greater than equal to m and p is greater than equal to one, the proof is very very simple. I will complete the proof in just two to three lines. How? Let's see. Because this is a sequence, this is a series. I can define the nth partial sum sequence of the series. U n, so I call it as the f n is my u one plus u two up to u n. Then your target is to prove this series is my uniform convergent. For that, your target is to prove f n converges to the f uniformly. This is your target. Fine. Now, now the series converges uniformly if and only if. The sequence f n converges uniformly on the A. That's the definition of the that's the definition of the series convergence. Now, once we can know f n is a sequence of the function, so by the definition of the Cauchy criteria of the uniform convergence, what is the definition of the Cauchy criteria? Is that means f of n plus p minus f n x is less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to m. So we can see there exists epsilon greater than zero, such that we can find a positive integer m with this hold. Now I can substitute the value of the f of n plus p, that is u1 plus u2 plus un plus n plus one up to u of n plus p minus what is the value of the f n u1 minus u2 up to the u n. And clearly say u1 will be cancelled out, u2 is cancelled out, u n will be cancelled out. The left behind is u n plus one 
n plus 2 n plus p and that is the required result of this proof and then you can say the simple proof is given in the two lines for you don't forget to like and comment on the video we can say the another equivalent definition of this uh, series uniform convergence an infinite series summation of the un converges uniformly if for a given epsilon greater than 0 we can find a positive integer m such that fnx minus fx should be less than epsilon that means fx is my point wise convergence and this limit must exist hence if the limit does not exist then we can say that see uh, the series is not point wise convergent if the series is not point wise convergent this implies the series is not uniform convergent for more detail about the point wise convergent you must watch what my this previous lecture on the point wise convergence of the series i hope you can like share and comment on this video with your friends i hope we will see the next lecture very soon on the uniform convergence of the series of the function till then you can like comment and subscribe my youtube channel and thanks for the support and thanks for the watch